I'm Tom Basso. I am Z Garcia. Merry Christmas. And I'm Sam Healy. Welcome back, folks. It's time to get your advanced gaming on. Yeah, yeah. this is definitely, if you're looking for, if you know a board gamer, someone who's a diehard board gamer, these are the games for that person. Or if you are one, this is the games for you. And the place to look for these online for that diehard gamer, CoolStuffInc.com. Hit them up. They got lots of choices on there, so uh, buy some for yourself while you're at it. You know, <laughs> get, some, get some gifts as well. A little for them, a little for you. That's how that works. We it's got the spirit <laughs> of the of the season. One game for you, two games for me. One game two? for me, no, two games way. for you. Yeah, sure. Sure. So these are 12 games. We call this advanced strategy. These are what well, sometimes we call these heavier games. Games, But these are really cool games, and we have 12 of them to talk about. Before we do that, though, we want to mention, as in we have been in all of our videos yeah. for the 12 games of Christmas, another chance for you to win a $50 gift certificate to Cool Stuff by using the G-Stone app. We've talked about this app. It's a fantastic app, the G standing for gathering, gathering people together, getting together, playing with other people. And one of the cool features that this app has is radar. So what you can do with radar is you can look for a game, a specific game where you uh, have, you know, maybe you're looking for someone who plays that game, someone who likes that game, a club that plays that game. You know, you don't want to show up with your copy of Fortress America and everyone there is playing Euro games or vice versa. Sure. And uh -huh. so that's what this lets you do. It will find someone maybe who likes that game. Right. So it's a kind of a, oh, I thought I was the only person who liked this game. Nope. Z Garcia also likes it. Right, right, you know? right. So that's a neat feature. If you sign up for this app, you'll be entered into uh, this contest. There will be nine winners. We'll be announcing all of them on December 2nd. So I hope you win. Cool. Awesome. I hope you. I'm talking to you. I hope you win. All right. Meanwhile, what are these great games you can get with this? What? Sam has one to tell us about. The maybe. first one that I have brought to the list is a game called Crusaders Thy Will Be Done. This one is by Tasty Menstrual Games. Uh, I believe Seth Jaffe is the designer. And this is a rondel game mm -hmm. that utilizes also a Mancala mechanic, me 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 mechanism. Wow. Feliz Navidad. It's just your, your present. It makes me nervous. It's the hat. It, it is. It is. It is. But anyway, you, you take these yeah. uh, different pieces and you're going to be moving them around your rondelle. And that's going to tell you or, or that's the way you choose what thing you do during the course of the game. Sometimes it's going to be building more buildings. Sometimes it's going to be uh, moving your guys out and conquering different territories. It's a really cool game. It's very thinky. Uh, and for me, it's pretty heavy as well. So that's my first pick. Crusaders, thy will be done. All right, for my first pick, we're going to go out into outer space and into the future what? as well for Black Angel. Dun, dun, dun. In Black Angel, all the players represent uh, different AI, artificial intelligences, running the ship together. And you are going to be deploying ships from your main, uh, you know, main ship, which is called the Black Angel. Deploying smaller ships, going to different locations around this board, taking actions to clear out ravagers that are showing up on the Black Angel. There's a lot going on, and it's all dice driven. You are going to be drafting dice and taking actions. So this is an immersive game. There's a lot happening. There's a lot to think about, and cascading consequences, which I really enjoy. Plus a cool theme to boot. So Black Angel is my first pick. All right, folks, you are scum. Well, or at least the character you play. In oh my! <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> That's not okay. In vindication. You can't In just vindication, show up and call people scum. You are a scumbag who is thrown off a ship because you're such a jerk. And you wash up Scoundrel. on shore and then you need to vindicate yourself. Okay. Someone finds you, you go around, you do all sorts of heroic things. You well not you, but the people you're with do heroic things and you okay. kinda help them. Okay. And eventually you will be vindicated. It's a mashup of game mechanisms. It's really a Euro style game where you're trying to get points through various ways. Um, and the board's different each time, the different companions and things. I really like it. I feel like it's a I call it a sandbox game. There's so many different things to do in it. A lot of fun, vindication, and you're all actually very nice people. Good. That's you needed that. I'm so confused. You needed that the sequel called Redemption. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that game's already out. Messages oh, okay. coming in, coming through. All right. All right. My second pick for uh, this list is Teotihuacan: City of Gods. 
this one is a area movement where you're moving workers to round to these different areas that are on the board and you're using them to do different things. Uh, score more points is really what it boils down to. But this is probably, well for me and this list, this is one of the heavier games that I enjoy. Um, and I've enjoyed it a lot. Now, it has a lot going on, so we can't really explain everything, but it is good, heavy, and it's well liked as well. I get, so the build, get the build a cool bigger mat. I'm pretty happy yeah, with that. Yeah, you can do that as well. That's 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 all good stuff, but it's it's you got to be careful, I guess you could say, because you can help people out when you move to these different areas. And that's good. Not in a competitive game. Oh, but that's my second pick. Teotihuacan, City of Gods. Got it. All right, my pick is Imperial Settlers, Empires of the North. This is a card game in which you are going to be basically building up your civilization and going out there to distant islands, claiming those islands, maybe just pillaging them and taking their stuff, but you know, you can play however you want to. And you are using those little workers, you are using your resources, building out cards, sailing, uh, gathering, maybe attacking the other nations, all in a quest for glory, i.e. victory points. Uh, once you get to a certain number of games over, you see who's got the most of them. I really like this game. It's a quick-paced game. It's got very adorable artwork, which, in my opinion, belies the depth in, of the game and how much is going on there. But, you know, I'm not going to say no to some cute artwork, too. So. That's like good. It. No. Imperial Settlers, Empires of the North. In the future, the Vassal Clan has expanded, population has blown out, and we need to build new cities. Shocking. It's true. Every time. <laughs> I just cleaned up in here. Underwater Cities is a game in which you're building a big, giant underwater network of cities. Um, of course, you got to build domes and things. This is a very deep strategic game in which you're going to be taking various actions on the board and using those to help build the whole city network in front of yourself, mm -hmm. um, providing the necessary resources for the different cities, using your cards in different combos. Uh, each time you play, you'll get a different set of kind of cards cards that you'll probably draft and play in front of you. A lot of depth to this game and expansion is just coming out too, but forgetting the expansion, just the base game, a lot of goodness in this one that's underwater cities. Glug, glug, glug. I get it. You said depth. <laughs> glug, glug. Oh, I didn't even... That was yes, an unintended did. pun. Right. Fantastic. All right. Well, my number three pick for this list is Robin Hood and the Merry Men. I'm Merry! And I'm a... Robin. You should say, and I'm Pippin. That's what you should have said. Oh, have been a can I be Sam? No, All I'm right. Sam. Right, anyway, Robin Hood and I'll the Merry the Men is a, heavy, is a heavy game. There is a lot going on in this, and it is literally a physically heavy game because there's so many components in this. Mm. You definitely feel like you get your money's worth just by carrying the box around. Then, like when you play membership. it, there's so many different mechanisms in here. You still feel like you got your money's worth, but I really like the whole theme of it. You're, each of the uh, people are playing different merry men uh, in Robin Hood's band, and you're trying to stop the... Uh, so what, what is it? Um, King uh, Prince John and the sheriff and, and all those guys from uh, doing their nefarious deeds throughout uh, the uh, Nottingham. But there's only one winner. So it's semi cooperative. You got to know that on the, outside, on the outset. But I really enjoy this game. I liked it a lot. Robin Hood and the Merry Men. All right, let's go back in time a little bit to Endeavor Age of Sail to the New World and exploring and opening up new regions of the planet. You begin in Europe and you are going to be uh, building buildings and opening up new locations as you see there on the map. My favorite thing about this game is how quickly the turns are. Every round you take a single action, you put out a little disc on one of those preset locations you saw there, and you do the associated, uh, you, you take the tick in the associated track. 
Some of them give you more workers. Some of them let you build bigger and better buildings. Some of them let you pay your workers so you can use them again in the upcoming rounds. But everything you do is very, very quick. It's nicely abstracted so that the game moves along, and I really enjoy it. That's a great, uh, interesting, engaging Euro-style game, as we call it. It's actually a reprint of a game that uh, came out quite a few years ago, and they really reworked it to perfection, in my opinion. Endeavor, Age of Sail. All right, my next one here is Paladins of the West Kingdom. This is oh. the second in a series of games from the West Kingdom, and this one is about the knights. Now, don't get too excited about the theme. I like the theme a lot, but the theme is barely there. This is a worker placement sure. game where you're trying to get points in various ways. We call these point sound games. So many different ways to get points. And in this particular game, you get points by... Um, using different workers that are of various colors and you place them in different spots and the combinations of that and you're just trying to focus on different paths there's so much depth so many different things that you can do in this game that I mean I, I really think the replayability is high it's a really entertaining game and uh, one of my favorite well I mean there's only two games in this series but it's an excellent one Paladins of the West Kingdom yep good pick alright if you like interaction this next game from me is going to be right where you want it, and that is called Architects of the West Kingdom. What? This sounds super this familiar. This is a precursor to Paladins. What? Uh, Paladins is a little bit more, at least in my opinion, it's a little bit more of a solitaire experience that everybody does at the same time. There's minimal interaction on a particular part of the board. With Architects of the West Kingdom, it's not as heavy of a game, but you have a lot more interaction that's going on in it. And that's why I like this one over Paladins. Not to say that Paladins is a bad pick, <coughs> but uh, I just think that Architects is the better one. That's, I think they're both good picks, and I didn't pick are, Architects because Sam had already put it on his list. They are, they are. But Architects is, is a great Merry worker Christmas, placement jerk. style game that has a take that element to it because when you place your workers on certain areas of the board, you actually get to take everybody else's worker and send them to jail. Then they have to get them out of jail and all this other kind of stuff. You get victory points for putting them there too. So it's just a really cool interactive worker placement game that I've enjoyed a lot. My number four, Architects of the West Kingdom. All right. Well, I guess I'm going to have to go with <laughs> Crusaders of the West Kingdom then. The unreleased, unannounced, and even undesigned. No, it's okay. There's no such game. <clears throat> Do not look it up. Nope. Uh, my final pick here is a game actually called Carpe Diem. Seize the day. I will. See y'all later. Oh, well, hold on. Let me get through this. Seize it I was going to stand on my desk, but okay. Yeah, no, not yet. Calm down, oh, Captain. In this game, you are building a little village, and you are going to be moving a piece around a, a circular configuration of tiles, those are your possibilities, in order to nab one of those and put it on your personal board where everything matches up. You are trying to gather, uh, you know, you've got chickens and you've got... Uh, Let's see what else. Tea leaves, a couple of different things you are gathering, and then turning those in for victory point. Point salad indeed, as Tom said, but I think it's a great point salad, and it tastes fantastic. Not a particularly good-looking game, and as you can maybe tell, I do like my games to be lookers, but the gameplay here makes up for that. I got no problem here. So Carpe Diem, excellent, excellent thinky game. All right, I say Vikings, you say, Sam, but... I should have put this on my list. I'm surprised you didn't. Reavers of Midgard. I forgot about The Reavers of Midgard. What does it matter? Because we're doing this joint. We're together. There we go. Okay, so Reavers of Midgard yeah, is a know. sequel to Champions of Midgard. I didn't know you put it out there, man. Sad. Sorry. <laughs> Champions of Midgard was like no, a sorry. kind of a roll dice worker placement style game. This one's a much more in depth game where you're going to be taking actions. Everyone's taking similar actions, and you're using dice, but this is a great. There's thing. very little luck involved with it. You're spending the dice mm -hmm. to go out on missions, collect cards. Again, we keep using this points out word, but again. This one gives you points for collecting various cards and going out and conquering settlements, but you're doing it in a very civilized way, I feel. It's yeah. a yeah. it's a lot of action, a ton of cards, a lot of goodness in this one. An excellent game. I shut up. I well, these advanced strategy <laughs> games are advanced so because sorry. there is so many there are so many ways to make victory points, and right. that's what you're ultimately doing. Correct. So yes, point salad is one way to describe it. There's just a lot there to dig in. It's gonna make your your brain hurt a little bit. 
you're me, maybe, you'll be fine, I'm sure. Well, there you go. Those are our 12 advanced strategy games. Thanks so much for watching. This, if you're watching this, this series in order, this is the last one. But if you aren't, there are eight other videos out there to check out. Don't forget the contest we mentioned at the beginning. We'll be announcing winners December 2nd. But thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Tom Vassell. I am Z Garcia. Sam Healy. See you on the flip side, folks. Feliz Navidad. Take care. Thanks so much for watching another Dice Tower video. If you enjoy our videos, subscribe to the channel for more fun, comprehensive board game coverage. Also, consider joining us at one of our events. Come to Dice Tower Retreat, a small, intimate gathering where gaming is king. Join us for Dice Tower Cruise, the largest board game cruise. Attend Dice Tower West in Las Vegas for gaming fun on the West Coast, or Dice Tower East in Orlando in sunny Florida. Dice Tower Conventions, the friendliest gaming conventions on Earth. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower.